Hello, I'm Scott Flowers from Cloud Ninjas, and today we're here to talk about Dell PowerEdge R420 server memory. For starters, the R420 has 12 DIMM slots. The R420 accepts two types of memory, ECC registered, also known as an RDIMM, or load reduced, also known as an LRDIMM. With ECC registered, you can load up 12 32 gig DIMMs at 1600 megahertz for a total of 384 gigabytes. With LR DIMMs, you can also get 384 gigabytes via 1232 gigs. However, you can get a slightly faster speed and get 1866 megahertz. With the R420, there are two CPUs and each CPU has six DIMMs or controls six DIMMs. There are three memory channels per CPU, meaning that there are two DIMMs per memory channel. The reason this is important means that you can actually still uh, max out the R420 with ECC registered and not have to worry about the rank rule. Well, let's go ahead and open her up and look inside and I'll show you a little bit more about what I'm talking about. Uh, but before we open it up, you always need to get your ESD gear on to make sure that we keep the machine safe and protected. Now that we have our ESD gear on, we are safe to open the server and prevent it from getting shocked and damaging any of the components or the motherboard inside. So first things first, simply make sure your latch is set to unlock, pop it open, and remove the top. Once you are in, you will notice there are two CPUs, CPU 1 and CPU 2. If you are only using one CPU, then you need to make sure that all of your modules are in the first six DIMM slots in all of the A channels. If you put them in any of the B channels, they will not register and you will get no functionality out of the, uh, the modules. So again, just make sure that if you're only using one, that you have it all on uh, the proper side. With the um, R420, the air shroud and this key down here will actually tell you all the DIMM slots. In order to access the slots, we need to simply remove the shroud, and now we are able to get in, okay? Um, as we discussed earlier, there are six DIMMs per channel. I'm sorry, six DIMMs per CPU, and there are three memory channels per CPU. You can tell this through the color coding as the white DIMM is the start of a new channel and the black is the second one to that channel. So why is this important? Well, if you were only going to load, let's just say three DIMMs uh, per CPU for a total of say six DIMMs, you need to, need to, need to make sure you only load the white DIMM slots. If you load them incorrectly, this will throw errors uh, for the machine. So it's just a real simple thing of just making sure your memory configuration is set up correctly. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and actually put some in today to show you how to do it. For starters, I want to point out um, on this uh, 16 gig module, you will notice this key or the, uh, the notch here in the middle um, is different than what you would have with a desktop module or an older DDR2 module or a newer DDR4 module. This is done to prevent the user from accidentally inserting the wrong module and potentially damaging the machine. It also uh, is there to make sure you line it up properly because if you flip it around the wrong way, it won't insert, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and put it in the first A1 channel over here. You need to beware of the cables there. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but nothing that you can't handle. So you wanna gently put it in. When you do push this down, you'll feel it kind of click in a little bit. Um, I like to kind of push not too hard, but you have to give it a little bit of force. And you hear that clip, make sure it's fully inserted. It's easy, there you go. It's easy to to not fully get it in and think you have it in and it's not fully slotted. We have a lot of customers who call us and think they actually have a, 
a bad module and it's simply just not seated fully. So we tell them to rotate it around and generally they, they get it seated properly and everything works just fine. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and put it in the next one. And again, we're, we're sticking with the whites because we're only putting in three dims. So we want to make sure we have the proper configuration here. A little bit easier in the middle without the cables in the way. All right. And just like that, we have added three 16 gig modules into CPU-1, and it took us no time whatsoever. And the point that I, I like to make about this for everyone is that when you upgrade memory, you get a much higher performance than if you upgrade a hard drive or you upgrade your CPUs. Generally, CPUs are so far ahead of all the rest of the technology that upgrading it really doesn't improve performance in some of the other parts. I feel like uh, RAM is, in, in, in general, the best upgrade to increase your performance of the machine. And it's also realistically very cheap and very easy to do. So to me, it's a no-brainer if you're looking to get a little bit more performance out of your machine to go ahead and uh, order some 16 gigs or 32 gigs for the R420. It'll definitely give you a, a boost in performance, especially for any VMware or virtualization projects. Um, now that we're, we're done, because we're just going to do the first three, you simply just make sure to put the shroud back in the right place and close the top and you're done. Very simple. Well, thank you guys for stopping by to learn a little bit more about R420 memory upgrades. If you have any questions or if you're looking to get a quote on some uh, modules right now, we have a bunch of 16 and 32 gigs in stock for this machine. Please give us a call or email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. Again, that's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks again and have a great day.